Doug Kide here at Gillette Stadium with Brian Smith, columnist with the Houston Chronicle. And I kind of call this a, a little bit of a statement win for, for the Patriots. Texans started off 2-0. Is this a statement loss for Houston? This is the Houston Texans being <laughs> the Houston Texans. And 42-14 Patriots on Monday Night Football in 2012. Last year, totally humiliated and Bill O'Brien dressed down by his mentor, Bill Belichick, at Energy Stadium. It was worse tonight. You don't think it could get any worse. This was this was on par with 30-0 Chiefs in, the, in a wild card game. A third-string quarterback that nobody outside of hardcore Patriots fans knew. A couple, you know, North Carolina State fans a couple weeks ago, and to have it happen on national TV when you get your quarterback and you have this defense, et cetera, et cetera, absolutely humiliating. And Vince Wilfork nailed it. I can't curse on camera, but he said it was a bleep game, and basically we were we were skunked at Gillette Stadium, and that's exactly what happened tonight. Yeah, I think, uh, as far as I'm concerned, looking at the Texans, it's a little bit concerning when the top players, guys yeah. like J.J. Watt, guys like DeAndre Hopkins, those guys those guys don't seem to step up against the Patriots. What is it about the Patriots? I mean, I think I kind of have an idea, but what's J.J. Watt doing out there today? Well, here, and here's the thing. it's From your perspective, which I totally yeah. understand, it's the Patriots, right? right? Because that is the Patriots' problem for them. But for the Texans, there's a much bigger issue, and that's the fact that every time they've ever had this national platform, whether it be a playoff game, whether it be a, a Monday night, Thursday night, Sunday night thing, they just they can't get it done. They yeah. fall apart. And this has happened multiple times now with Bill O'Brien. This happened with Gary Kubiak. And it's almost like it's in the organization's DNA. And at some point, they'll get past it. Yeah. And maybe this becomes the final uh, you know, tipping point to where they, they take the next step. But I was, I was just saying, this doesn't happen to the Patriots. This doesn't happen to the Broncos. This doesn't happen to the Steelers. This doesn't happen to good contending teams. And the Texans have always been a 9-7, and 8-8 eight and eight team. And right now, all of a sudden, that feels like what they are again. Yeah, I was just going to say, what do you see from this team moving forward? Obviously, 2-0 looks good. 2-1 with a shutout to a third-string <laughs> quarterback doesn't look so good. And the thing is, is you know, barring a complete mid-early season collapse, they yeah. should be 3-1. They, they have the Titans at home. Next Sunday, they win that game. Then they go to Minnesota, and they play uh, the Vikings, who don't have Teddy Bridgewater and Adrian Peterson. They could be 4-1, but no one's going to believe in this team. The fans won't. The media won't. Players in the locker room won't until they start winning these games, and they still have to play at Green Bay. They still have to play at Indianapolis. They do have they have a tougher schedule this year. This was a major blow for this team psychologically. It's just one loss. They can be 3-1, and one, and they'll look good in the standings, but they're going to have to prove it the rest of the season because they're not going to be able to rate. It's going to take them the rest of the season to erase this loss. Absolutely, and especially if they make the playoffs and have to come here oh. once again, then <laughs> we could be seeing something. Like and, and here's the thing. It won't be Jacoby Brissett, and exactly. it won't be Jimmy G. <laughs> It'll be Tom Brady. I think that does it for us here. Uh, we all we all saw the game, so we all kind of know how it went. But, uh, <laughs> thanks a lot to, to Brian and, and say on this.com for all your Patriots news and analysis. Go to Houston Chronicle for all your Texans news and analysis.